welcome to the Creosphere. This video is going to go over how we use the software for the Creo Hawk. So the first button we see when we open the app is the buttons page. Here, when we hover over in any of the buttons, we can see the corresponding number shown on the mouse. When we click on any of these options, it shows us the different functions that can be selected and what it can be changed to. On the left side, we see a profile section. Here we can set and create multiple profiles that can be saved for the times when you have different customization modes or for the different games you play. Then we have the performance page. Here we have the different DPIs that can be set. We have seven presets and these can be cycled through using the DPI button on the mouse. We can choose the color for each of these DPI and we can also use the slider to fix the exact number and speed that we want to set at. Here we have the polling rate of the mouse. This is best left at 1000 Hz, but if for any reason you want to change it, it can go all the way down to 125. Then we have the mouse movement speed. This can be set depending on how quickly you want the pointer to move and how precisely you want it to respond to your movement. Then we have the mouse scroll speed. This affects how quickly or slowly the scrolling button moves up or down a web page. Then we have the double click speed. This affects how quickly the double click on the left click of the mouse responds when input is given. Then we have a general key response time which can be customized and set if in case you want to add any latency to your clicks or reduce it. Then we have the lighting page. Here we have a bunch of preset lighting modes which can be selected and each of them have their own customizations whether it's brightness or speed of pulsing or even the color that can be selected for them. Then we have the macro page. Here we can add a new macro first. We type its name and then we can input the key functions on the keyboard that we want this macro to execute when a click on the mouse is made. So we can start recording and then we start pressing the functions on the keyboard that we want it to execute and then we say stop. Once this is done, a new macro has been created. When we go back to our buttons page and we select any of the buttons, we can then find the macro function over here and we can select it and then say OK. So now when this is clicked, it will execute your macro function. And remember, after making any changes, always click apply for the settings to take place. Now that we're all set, See you in the lobby.